Hello everyone, welcome to Gardenology. My name is Maggie and today I'll be taking you through the common pests and diseases that are found in both your gardens and, your, and the house plants. We'll start by discussing the pests that are commonly found in our gardens and in our house plants. Uh, maybe you've come across them but it can be a bit difficult to identify some of them because uh, we, we, sometimes it's hard to tell which are the pests and which are the good uh, insects in the garden. So uh, the most common one that you may most likely have come across is uh, aphids and mealybugs. We have um, thrips, there's uh, white flies, and uh, there's also scale insects. So for today, we shall just do an overview of the pests but uh, on our next video, we will go deeper into the, the pest. We will look at how each pest affects our plants and how to, to prevent them and control them. The most common diseases in plants are uh, fungal diseases. There are, there's also some viral diseases, but those are not as common as the fungal ones. So for the fungal ones, we, the most common disease is uh, powdery mildew which is, uh, you can find it in a lot of plants, even house plants, and it comes as a, a white coating on the on the leaf surface. And uh, if you don't take care of it early enough, it can really spread and damage the plant. There's also another form of disease called downy mildew. Uh, there's sooty mold, there's blight, uh, we ha there's also a leaf spot, and all of them are caused by, by uh, fungus. Most of the uh, plant diseases are caused by uh, moisture on the foliage. So to prevent uh, diseases on the plant, it's good, it's important to avoid wetting your leaves, your plant foliage. For example, if you usually water from the top, uh, it's, it, it, you should uh, look at, like you should change and aim to water the soil and not the leaves. Because if you if you wet the leaves, then the moisture encourages some um, developing of these plant diseases. Uh, the other thing about uh, prevention in terms of pests and diseases is scouting. If you are able to have a close look uh, at your plants uh, on a daily basis, just take time and go through your garden, or. Uh, just check on your plants and scout uh, diligently and regularly. You will be able to notice if anything is wrong with your plants early enough. If you can see any abnormal changes, any kind of uh, leaf uh, curling or browning or yellowing, then you would be able to capture whether it's a disease or a pest early enough and control it before it spreads. <laughs> 